hi guys i'm ayana and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to do spray book edges if you notice my bookshelf is very empty because i've sprayed a lot of my own book edges and there are two methods to do it so essentially you kind of do them both the same way you just like switch whatever method you want to do the materials that you would need is you would need spray paint or acrylic paint you would need newspaper and you would need something heavy to hold your book down in place um and then i use this spray paint which i got off amazon and i use this acrylic paint which i also got off amazon i'm just going to show you guys the differences of spray paint versus acrylic paint and how they came out for me this is how the acrylic paint came out for me and i don't know i i don't hate it but if you do like use acrylic paint you are gonna have to flip through the pages and separate them yourselves i learned how to do my spray book edges from watching books with chloe she did a vlog where she painted hers and isabella from throwing the pages where she did like actual painting so i kind of like learned how to do mine from both of them and so i used acrylic paint first and this is how it came out what I do want to say is that you do have to like flip through the pages and separate them yourselves. I did three books so all together it took me six hours to do all these. This is the sprayed edges which I prefer a lot better because there aren't any like with this one it kind of like the paint kind of like chipped off a little bit so it like looks white and like I don't know it doesn't look as good but with the spray edges it looks really good. The only thing I do want to say to be cautious about is the spray did get inside but personally i didn't mind that and um i do want to like i like to draw in my books there's a there's a page stuck to another page oh okay so i want to draw in my books so i do want to create like my own art piece here of like um the main character when i do read it so personally i didn't mind this because like it came out it worked out good and like for me but i do want to say like some pages do have kind of like residue on the inside so it's not all like perfect but i think it kind of adds to the book in general like i don't know it makes it look kind of cool well you can't really see it but to me it makes it look kind of cool i don't know it does still smell like paint and i probably am gonna die from paint poisoning because i sprayed so many books what you want to do is you want to newspaper i wrap the newspaper around the book like make sure you get it around all corners because you don't want like the book to get on like the hardcover but for me like for nevernight i kind of didn't care because nevernight was already black like the hardcover was already black so i kind of didn't care but like for renegades i painted renegades red but the hardcover was blue so i had to be like a lot careful with that but at the same time i kind of didn't care because it's my book and i'm never going to give it away and i'm never going to sell it so it really doesn't matter like you know it's going to be mine forever but you want to make sure that you wrap the newspaper around the book and um both sides you want to make sure you wrap them around the back and the front and you want to lay the you want to lay it down on a hard surface and you want to lay something heavy on top of the like the book what i use is i have like this bin where i keep like everything in it the bin did kind of go through spray paint i probably some stuff in there probably got spray painted but it's like it's whatever for me like i don't really care so i use, i put everything in the bin like, i have like a hammer in there i have a screwdriver in there i have scrunchies in there i have necklaces in there like i literally have everything in there so it's pretty like heavy i just use that to hold the book down um i do suggest using gloves because i had to come in like i spray paint it a good handful of books and i had to keep coming in the house like wash my hands so the paint didn't like stick to my hand so i do want to suggest using gloves i'm just really lazy and also don't suggest doing it in the house because i did it in the house once and like my house still smells from it and i'm probably gonna like die soon from it i think i said all i need to say i guess i can show you guys the books that i did now the first three books i did with um the first three books I did with acrylic paint and I don't really like it but like I don't care at the same time. So I did both my black editions of the um, Cool Prince and the Wicked King. Um, these are the Barnes and Noble exclusive editions and I personally don't plan on selling them. I don't plan on giving them away like I don't I don't plan on reading these actual copies so I don't care if the pages get stuck together because I have 
the regular copies like I have two copies of the book so personally I didn't care if like the pages got stuck together or anything because like it's gonna be mine forever so painted this was the very first book I painted I also painted Shadow of the Fox and I painted it black and um the pages got stuck together but I don't really mind because I can find the audiobook on Libby so it's kind of like whatever to me and then the rest are all spray painted I spray painted Never Night and God's Grave by Gray, Gray by Jay Kristoff and I really like how these came out like I don't know I kind of like how it I really like how it looks like at first I was like mm, maybe it won't look right with the white but personally I really like how it looks Simon versus the homo sapiens agenda and I painted it red and I really really like this one like I really like and I like how it came out with like under the dust jacket like <laughs> my brother he's sitting over there he loves how I spray painted this look so he like he loves it I did get spray paint on the hardcover a little bit but <laughs> I don't care and yes some spray paint digging on the inside but like I said I don't care and then I also did renegades and arch enemy enemies enemies which I really love these like I don't know I, I mostly like this one because the red kind of looks better but I like this one too because there's hints of red in it and I didn't I don't like my I didn't want to do one blue and one red like I kind of want my series to all be spray painted the same color but that's just my personal thing like that's just me I just like everything to match so I really liked it like it came out really good um, I did get some red on the dust jacket a little bit um yeah I think it looks really good with the blue though and it makes sense like with the color because there's hints of red in the cup in the cover so I don't know I think it personally personally I think it came out really nice um arch enemies which I, I, I love this like I hope I really love this book because this is my favorite one that I've done and like I didn't really care if I got paint on it because this looks so good yeah I didn't really care if I got paint on it because it was already red so I also did Caraval which I really like because I did black I kind of wanted to do like black and red but there's not like red in this like it's like a little it's like a purple so I'm glad I didn't do red but um I really like how this came out like it, looks, it just looks so good because like this is like a kind of like a matte black and so it just looks really perfect in my opinion and under the dress jacket looks really nice um I didn't really care if I got spray paint on the cover because the cover is already black so it really didn't matter okay and so I also did children of blood and bone and I really liked how this came out I was gonna do like a red but I'm kind of glad I didn't because the the red wasn't dark enough like it would have been too bright and so under the dust jacket looks really good I kind of miss some pages up here but like who cares it's whatever um and yeah I could flip through the pages like perfectly and there is some residue on the inside but personally this just smells like spray paint I'm literally gonna die um uh, personally I don't mind it because I think it kind of adds to like the book you know like it adds I don't know it just looks really it looks really good and then the last final book that I did was it by Stephen King and I really really liked how this one came out as well like I think it just looks really good with like the simple red and then like this red like I don't know I really like it and I don't know, this book is really big and under the dust jacket it looks really under the dust jacket it looks so good under the dust jacket yeah that's the purpose so it just looks I don't know I think all books should have spray edges like regular edges who is she you know and I just really like this like I don't know the there was some residue oh. <laughs> there was some residue in the pages but it still smells like sort of thing. <laughs> so I mean I flip through the pages pretty fine so I think it came out pretty good yeah thank you for watching this video I'll leave the spray paint that I used down below and the acrylic paint if you have any questions you know feel free to comment them um if you wanted to like DM me your spray book edges like 
please feel free to you don't have to just dm me like you can like tweet me you can like put it on like your instagram story or on instagram and like tag me like i want to see you guys spray edges like i want to see if like i inspire anyone to do them and i also suggest checking out books with chloe and isabella from throne of book throne of pages um videos because those videos really really helped me a lot and i am terrible at explaining things so i just want to say like do some background information before you like do like a do like a watch more videos like when i do diys i make sure i watch like more than one video so that i can like see if there's a more options to do it or a better way like you know or i'm just here by explaining things so i don't want to say that my way is like the only way but yeah thank you for watching this video bye